I'm going to discuss this topic. I hope and pray that uh, we could conclude this day, no? Uh, really, uh, it is my desire that the Holy Spirit will move mightily today, that, uh, that the Holy Spirit can impart something for each one today, for God's glory. Amen po ba? Are you expectant of are you expecting something from the Lord today? Amen. Amen. So praise the Lord. So I want everyone to just uh, focus and uh, don't mind the guys in your side or at your back. Just only mind the words of God today. Amen. 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 So we're going to continue with this topic about uh, let anointing flows. Amen. So can we all arise first and let's pray. Okay, uh, Sister Adele, would you mind to please read first our uh, context? Okay. Second Kings 2, 1-15 mm -hmm. When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind, Elijah and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elijah, Stay here, the Lord has sent me to Bethel. But Elijah said, As surely as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. So they went to Bethel. The company of the prophets at Bethel came out to Elijah and asked, Do you know that the Lord is going to take your master from you today? Yes, I know, Elijah replied, but do not speak of it. Then Elijah said to him, Stay here, Elijah. The Lord has sent me to Jericho, and he replied, As surely as the Lord lives, and as you live, I will not leave you. So they went to Jericho. The company of the prophets at Jericho went up at Elisha and asked him, Do you know that the Lord is going to take your master from you today? Yes, I know, he replied, but do not speak of you. Then Elijah said to him, Stay here, the Lord has sent me to the Jordan. And he replied, As surely as the Lord lives, and as you live, I will not leave you. So the two of them walked on. Fifty men of the company of the prophets went and stood at a distance, facing the place where Elijah and Elisha had stopped at the Jordan. Elijah took his cloak, rolled it up, and struck the water with it. The water divided to the right and to the left, and the two of them crossed over on the dry ground. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Tell me, what can I do for you before I am taken from you? Let me inherit a double portion of your spirit, Elisha replied. You have asked a difficult thing, Elijah said. Yet if you see me when I am taken from you, it will be yours. Otherwise not. <laughs> Eleven. As they were walking along and talking together, suddenly a chariot of fire and horses of fire appeared and separated the two of them. And Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. Elisha saw this and cried out, My father, my father, the chariots and horsemen of Israel, and Elisha saw him no more. Then he took hold of his own clothes and tore them apart. He picked up the cloak that had fallen from Elijah and went back and stood on the bank of the Jordan. Then he took the cloak that had fallen from him and struck the water with it. Where now is the Lord, the God of Elijah? He asked. When he struck the water, it divided to the right and to the left, and he crossed over. The company of the prophets from Jericho who were watching said, the spirit of Elijah is resting on Elisha. And they went to meet him and bowed to the ground before him. Amen. So praise the Lord. So let's pray. Father, we are so thankful to the Lord for this day of God. Thank you, my Father, that you have brought us here in this place, safe and sound, God, with the energy, Lord God, to listen, my Father, with the peace of mind, Lord God, to be with the brethren, Lord God. Through my Father, we pray, O oh God, that you make once again cleanse us, Lord God, from all our unrighteousness, Lord God. Cover us with your most precious blood, Lord Jesus, that we will be worthy, my Father, to receive something from you today, O oh Lord. Tuloy nga aming Ama, we beg for your mercy, O oh Lord God. We beg for your grace, O oh Lord God. For we believe only that by grace that we could do your will, my Father. So today, as we are gathered here, May you move mightily in our midst, Lord God. May you clean our hearts, Lord God, our lives, Lord God. May you give us the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding, Lord God, that we may be able, Lord God, to comprehend that for every word that you are going to release today, Lord. Lord, we have this expectant heart, my Father. 
expecting something from you, Lord, as how Elisha expect something from Elijah, Lord. Lord, the same cry, the same declaration we are going to declare today that we need your double portion of anointing, O God, that we could do your will effectively, my Father. So with that, Lord, we're so thankful to you, Lord God, and we lifted up everything, O Lord God, these activities, O Lord God, this message, O Lord God. May you be the one to be glorified and magnified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So, for the third time, okay. So, settle your, uh, ayusin mo na po lang yung masaril natin. Amen. So, all of us were here last time when I, on the second time I preached this topic. Now, we are, we are all here. So, we're going to continue na, no? Ginaan natin po nung balikan niyan. So, okay. Sana po tayo minto dami. Okay. I believe, ito po, ito po tayo magsimula. The four cities where they gone through. Okay? Uh, first, Elijah and Elisha went to Bethel. As we all know, Bethel means the, the place. Of, no, no, no. Meron ko muna dito. Ito po. Gilgal. No? The first city where they went through was Gilgal. Which is we call the place of beginning. Where they started to meet. And from there, uh, they started to, to, to knew each other. They started to, 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 be, ano, to be at ease with one another. So from, from, from Gilgal, they went. They continue to Bethel, which is the place of dreams. And from Bethel, they went to Jericho. Gilgal. This was the place. So it was here that the Israelites were first celebrated Passover in the Promised Land. Here the meal born during the here, the males born during the wilderness wandering were circumcised and the covenant was renewed. This was on the, the place of Gilgal. So, uh, historically, uh, mayroon po itong ginagampan ng importanting uh, role sa pagpapalagala po na sa ikan ng Panginoon during, the time, during their times. So, that was Gilgal. Then from there, they went to Bethel, the place of dreams where uh, 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 Jacob the dreamer so no Jacob not the dreamer Jacob the tatay tatay di ba it was here that Jacob met God and dream of angels descending and ascending out of heaven so this is what nakakita while 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 lying while lying on something on the stone when he looked up he dreamed that there's an open heaven he saw a staircase then uh, an angel descend and ascending from heaven uh, I believe uh, Hindi po yan dreams It's not a dream By the time But really uh, uh, May time po dyan eh Yung vision. vision It's a vision that was Jacob saw During that time Why? Because God wants to communicate something with him So when God Will go to communicate with us God can do something The only thing that we needed to be Is that uh, We need to be Yung ako, lagi, dapat lagi lang po tayo, ano, uh, we need to be in tune. No, no, yeah. We need to be always in tune with God. And really, the best way for us to be in tune with God is when we are always, ano, when, when the words of, when we are soak with the words of God. Kung tayo po ibabad sa salita ng Panginoon, mas madali po makagalaw ang Diyos sa atin. I believe God can, God wants to communicate with us always. It's just that um, uh, it's, we find it difficult to perceive the, 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 the visions that God wants us to see because our mind is preoccupied with something. Amen? But by that time, really, uh, Jacob was really, in, he, he was in line with, with, the, with, with the will of God. That's why he was able to see that vision well. So that was Bethel. Then Jericho, the place of past victories. So it was this time that Israelites uh, uh, 
were able to collapse that fortified wall of Jericho by just praising the name of God, by just praising, by just uh, lifting the, the name of the Lord, by just uh, giving glory to the Lord, shouting the praises. Really, uh, the wall of Jericho collapsed. So, alam na po natin yan. Then, Jordan. During that time, as we have discussed last, last time, mas malaki po ito sa Pasig River. The, 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 the width of this... Uh, Um, Jordan River is much bigger than our uh, our Pasig River, and by that time, the current, the what the, the current, ba? the current, no? the current of the water flowing, mas hindi talaga matindi po talaga. That's why they they call it the place of death, disaster, or the place of death, because very few can cross that river. But by the time Elijah, uh, by the time Elijah received the blessing from God. By just simply striking it with what with the by by stroke, the water divided and they were able to cross in uh, in dry ground. So these are the four cities where they went through. Now, last time I concluded here when I stand here, I ask you, where are you now? If you are going to if if you are going to to analyze yourselves right now in our time, in reference to the cities, where are we now? Are we still in the so-called place of Gilgal, the place of beginning, or are we still in are we still in the place of Bethel, the place of dreams? Are we in are we are we in Jericho, the the place of victories, or we have already crossed the the, the river that we are no longer uh, interested with uh, with our ministries? It is between you and your God. But today we are going to conclude this topic and. I hope and pray that each one of us will become, will be anointed today. That we will receive the anointing from God today. If you desire, if you have the desire to be used, if you have the desire to be, to be uh, of, of, of noble something, of noble use for the glory of God, then right now I want you to pray. I want you to desire it. Because unless you desire it, it will not manifest. So wherever you are now, whether you are in Gilgal, whether you are in, in Bethel, Jericho, or in Jordan, it's still, hindi pa po tapos ang laban. Still, we, have still, we still have time to return to the Lord. Just ask for forgiveness. Just ask for the wisdom for, for us to be used. For us to be anointed. For us to be influenced by the Holy Spirit. So, That is not it, no? Okay. Obstacle did not chase the desire of Elijah. Okay? So, so how many, how many times, how many times Elijah tried to hinder the, the, the desire of Elijah? Three times. Up, almost four times. I will go here. The Lord wants me to be here. You stay here. No, I want to go with you. The Lord told, told me to come here. No, I will go with you. The Lord wants me to be there. No, stay here. I will be, I'll be, I'll be with you. So, three times, Elijah tried to deny Elisha, but Elisha stand firm in his decision to receive the double portion of anointing. Ang ako may English ko. Malinaw ko ma. Now, in our time, in our time, how, ano po, ano po katindi, how eager you are in your desire to be used by God. In Tagalog, salitang kanto, Si Elisha talagang halos kapit. Ako. Oh. Sabi ha? <laughs> talagang kapit talaga sa kay Elisha. No, kahit sa kapumot na, I'll go with you. Pa, kahit sa kapumot na, sunod ng kita. Because I want, I want that double portion. Now, ang tatong, in our time, do we have the same courage? Do we have the same desire? Na, na ganun. Okay. Maybe sumasopra ako. I want everyone to close their eyes. Now, I want to close your eyes. In the topic, in the first and second topic, we've learned that Elisha is Elisha was so cleared by that is by his desire. He was so firm with his desire to receive the double portion of anointing. In our time, now at this very moment, do you have the same desire? that you long from God. 
to give to you, to give you. Amen. Whatever it is, I want you to pray for it now. If it's wisdom, pray for it. If we want something empowerment, pray for it. Work for it. Philippians 1, 12, 6, no? We need to work out our salvation, meaning we, we need to do everything just to care, just to, just to protect our salvation. The same thing with us now. If we want to be used, then fight for it. No one, okay, that no one can disregard you. There are still so many unsafe people outside. Desire that God will give you the desires of your heart, if you have any. In Tagalog, desire niyo po, right now, hilingin po natin sa Lord. Lord, I believe everything is laid bare before you at this very moment, my Father. You see the heart desires of everyone, O Lord. It is my prayer, my Father, that you may enlighten each one of us, that you may fulfill that desires that desires to be used for the advancement of our kingdom. Lord, we believe we are not worthy, but you can make us one. That's why, before we go into my Father, I rebuke the things that hinders these people, Lord God, to receive that desires. No obstacle can hinder us, O Lord God, to do your will, O Lord God. Kahit pagtabulan kami, Panginoon, susunod at susunod kami sa iyo, God. You are our commanding in chief, O Lord God. Commander in chief, my Father. Just say the words, O Lord God. Yes, I pray, O God, that the anointing will blow right now. Holy Spirit, have your way. Lord, I believe there's time in the my Father, but I believe this is the time of our God. Lord of the harvest, my Father, I'm praying right now that you may use these people, Lord God, as the workers in your vineyard, God. That they may harvest the field of Lord. The harvest is full, but the workers are few, my Father. Let anointing blows change their desires, O Lord, and those worldly desires, O Lord, and change it. O Lord, and replace it with the heavenly things, O Lord, and with the divine desires, O Lord sa mga langit na pagnanasa kami na magamit sa iyong upasan ng Yes, I Father. If you want to be right now, raise your right hand. If anyone who wants to be used, raise their right hand. Lord, hayag sa inyo ang puso ng bawat isa, Panginoon. Ayoko po mawala ng saysay ang mensahe ito, Panginoon. It is your message for all of us, my Father. Say, Lord, acknowledge these people, my Father, who raise their hands on Lord God. I see it, God, with your most precious blood, Lord Jesus, that they may impact their surroundings, Lord God. Anointing blows right now. Receive. Receive. Things 
will be changed. From this very moment, I declare that God will change everything that you will receive the new man in you. The new spirit from God. A steadfast spirit from the Lord Almighty. Yes. And you someone say, Father, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. 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 So let's continue. Uh, really, no, uh, As your senior master, really, I want everyone to be to be used by God. Talagang gusto gusto ko po na magamit kayo. So we are willing to do everything for you to be to be of use, for you to be trained, for you to be equipped. Tanda po natin no, as we used to say, God's business is always what a serious business. Hindi po natin pwedeng dukol-dukuhin. Hindi po natin pwedeng biru-biruin ang gawain ng Panginoon. Amen? So, let's continue. Number five. So, just to recap, no? itong limang nangyari. First, How did Elisha obtain the powerful anointing? First, he made a spiritual request. He knew, he knew the capacity of Elijah. So from there, Elisha desires that, uh, that whatever Elijah had, mat matanggap niya rin. He made a spiritual request. Yan po na nangyari. Next. The condition of para the parameters of Elisha's request. Elisha showed a firm decision about his request. He learned, he understood, and from there he became firm with a desire. Hindi siya nagpabago-bago. Talagang, talagang parang, parang talagang focus talaga siya doon sa desires niya. So that, that, dapat yan hindi po mangyari sa atin. Next. Opposition is that weaken his desires. So how many times Elijah tried to, to stop him? But no. I'll go with you, I'll be with you. Wherever you go, I'll be with you until I receive that something from you, which is a double portion of God's anointing. Opposition did not shake the desire. Opposition did not stop. Opposition did not wave the desires of his heart na matanggap po yung gawain, yung, 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 yung double portion. Meaning, ganito po. See, uh, uh, inga, just like the patotoo ni Sister Jean. Okay? Uh, gusto niya makauwi. Naghihintay siya. Ang problema naman yung boss niya. Meaning, meaning don't, don't, don't weaken. No? Whatever your desires is, you should not be weakened. Whatever happens, whatever it may, uh, kailan mo mangyari yan, kailan dapat maghanap yan, ano man ang dapat mangyari, maghanap ang dapat maghanap, matanggap naman po natin yung desires natin. Really, we need to fight for it. Unless the Lord see that kind of desires in your heart, it will be very difficult for us to receive something from the Lord. That's why there's always time involved. There's always time, there's always energy, there's always wisdom involved. If you want something from the Lord. Okay, so number, po, number four po yan. The last one. This one. Elijah survived an unlimited and supernatural experience. Uh... Elijah witnessed the miracles happen in the life of Elijah. Okay? He was just a, what, an ordinary uh, farmer. Then there came the prophet of God, the legitimate prophet of God. From there, while they are, to, while they are walking, he, he made, uh, Elijah made a sample miracle. He struck the water and was divided. So from there, Elijah was amazed. So Elijah experienced but the supernatural, uh, he survived or he witnessed an unlimited supernatural miracles performed by Elijah. That made him that talagang decided na tanggapin kung ano yung meron kay Elijah. 
That's why for you in our time, that's why we are so developing the so-called Timothys, the partnership, so that whatever kung sino man yung sinasamahan mo, ma matanggap mo kung ano yung meron sa. That's why we 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 are encouraging everyone to have partnership. The so-called uh, uh, Paul and Timothy. That Paul will lead Timothy. Not Timothy will lead Paul. Mali po yun. Amen po ba? Can you see anything on that? And now the question is, um, really, there are so many pastors here. You can, you can go with us. That you may, so maybe, you may experience the so-called transference of spirit. This is what really happened here. Elijah's spirit rested on Elijah. Yan po ang dapat mangyari sa natin. So, Elijah survived an unlimited supernatural experience because Elijah would not be hindered of the victory. Elijah got to partake in some wonderful supernatural event. Dahil nga, dahil nga talagang naging matindi siya, naging matatag siya, talagang tinisar niya. So God allows him to see the miracles in the life of Elijah. So Elisha witnessed Elijah's miracle. Because of Elisha's perseverance, God allows him to see Elijah taken up to heaven alive. Imagine ha, what a wonderful experience. Na kasama mo, naglalakad kayo, nilang makita mo, kinuha siya ng chariot of fire. Pero hindi siya na ano, he was not, he just moved because he expected that things to happen. Hindi siya napasigaw ng nai ko po. Hindi siya napasigaw ng Diyos ko po. OMG. Ang, OMG. Ang nasabi lang niya, lang niya eh, my father, my father. Which is normal. Kasi because Elijah, uh, he, he treated Elijah as his father. But the, the, the good thing is, Elisha witnessed this very thing, no? When, 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 when the chariot fire came in, and by the whirlwind, Elijah was taken up to heaven alive. Imagine, parang na-rapture, na-rapture si, si, si Elijah. Nang hindi siya natakot. E pa, parang, what, what, what if these things happen in our, in our time, in our, in our generation? Malamang, ma- mahimatay tayo kung makita natin na baka makita maybe if we can see if we maybe if we will see Sister Elijah Sister Jaja elevated it there malamang magtakbuhan tayo dito pare-pareho dahil kay Elijah <laughs> ma? that's why one of the blessings Elijah received was that Uh, God allows him to witness the miracles performed in the life of Elijah as he was taken alive to heaven. Okay, po ba? So as they were walking along and talk, talking together, suddenly a chariot fire and horse of fire appeared and separated the two of them and Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. Elijah saw this and cried out, Father, Father, the chariots and horsemen of Israel and Elijah saw him no more. Then he took hold of his own clothes. He took hold of his own clothes and tore them apart. And what? So that's one of the blessings Elisha received during the moment, during the time. <coughs> Next. Elisha wore Elijah's mantle. So Elisha witnessed the, the taking up of uh, Elijah and from there Elisha received or wear the so-called the mantle of ministry. And as we've discussed, no, mantle of ministry means the transferring of ministry from one person to another. So from there, that's the confirmation that he received the double portion of God's anointing. So the price he worked and longed to be received that he may fulfill the will of God for the Israelites and for God's glory. So Elijah wore Elijah's Monday. Now, here in our in in our in our uh, in our time in, our, in this church, uh, um, 
I can say, no, uh, Pastor Aldrin is a very meek person. Okay? Pastor Bernie is a very cool person. Okay? So, Pastor Bernie has the so-called uh, shepherd's heart. He's really a pastor. Okay? Brother John, um, how, how could I uh, describe this guy? Um, cool but serious person. Okay? Cool but serious person. Sister Johan, uh, it's up to you, Madam. <laughs> no. Sister Joan, uh, let's say, uh, strict. Okay, strict. Okay. And uh, Sister Reds, cool, very cool person. Bidibiru na, still nakatawa pa. Okay. So now, Elijah wore Elijah's mantle. So as, as, uh, as a person, entrusted to each one of us, at least you need to desire to receive the attitude of these people. Yan po yung tinatawag natin light Paul and Timothy relationship. For me, I don't know. I, it's up to you how you're going to describe it, but uh, it's up to you. Okay? So, really, for me, for me, I want to, I want when my time is up here in Doha, I want my the matter of ministry to be transferred. I could not give I could not give to all of you. I can give to one who are going to work for me. Same thing with the with us adding the long pastor. It, they cannot release it to all of you. Yes, for the sake of love we can, but not all of you will receive unless you desire for it. The mantle of ministry, or the so-called transference of uh, ministry. So, Elijah wore Elijah's mantle. So the price he worked and longed to be received that he may fulfill the will of God for the Israelites and for God's glory. So in verse 13, it says here, he picked up the cloak that had fallen from Elijah and went back and stood on the bank of the Jordan. Then he took the cloak that had fallen from him and struck the water with it. Where now is the Lord, the God of Elijah? He asked, when he struck the water, it divided to the right and to the left, and he crossed over. That was the confirmation that Elisha received what God has promised to him, that he may obtain the double portion of God's anointing. And from there, and from there, Elisha walked in the power of God's, uh, he walked in the power of the, in, in, uh, the, Elisha ministered in the power of God's anointing. Okay? So, nangyari, Elijah, Elisha was so blessed to witness the miracle performed of, the, perform, the miracles performed by God to Elijah. Then, from there, he received the desire, the double portion of anointing. Thirdly, from that very moment up to the last breath, of Elisha, he ministered in the power of the Holy Spirit. So let us see, Elisha ministered in the power of God's anointing. From the time the spirit of Elijah rested on Elisha in obtaining the double portion of anointing, Elisha performed miracles upon miracles. If you're going to read the whole chapter, the whole book of 2 Kings, you will see there, you will be amazed on how God moved or worked in the life of prophet Elisha. Okay? And one of these, really, gusto, gusto ko po ito, one of the miracles performed uh, uh, perform by Elisha para po sa, sa Israelita, eh, no, ito nga po. So, in 2 Kings chapter 8, verse 23. Ah, sorry po. 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 8 to 23. Uh, Sister Jaja, please. And you move. Sister Cindy. Kita po. Sorry 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 po. Sorry
Minor, ano yung mata mo? Second... Second 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 Second